What's a cool fact you think others should know? That the patent for the fire hydrant was lost in a fire. The Guinness Book of Records was invented by the Guinness Beer folks. They figured a book of verifiable facts would help stop bar arguments. Sharks existed before trees existed. I remember reading that before trees, mushroom-like fungi grew as large as trees. That'd be cool to see. Some fungi are bigger than they appear. The Malheur National Forest, Ni Oregon, contains only five individual fungi, the largest covers 2,385 acres and is around 2,000 years old. 90% of the population on Earth lives in the Northern Hemisphere. Eugene Aldrin, the father of the famous moon landing astronaut Buzz Aldrin, not only witnessed the Wright brothers' first flight but also went to see his son land on the moon in his lifespan. We've been quick. I always find it amazing that the first flight and first moon landing essentially happen within 65 to 70 years of one another. Also a modern-day iPhone has more processing power than the entire computer setup NASA has for that mission. Edit, my knowledge of random shit has finally proven worthy and has gotten me my first ever award. Thank you Eureka 1697. Opossums generally cannot get rabies. Their body temperature is too low for the virus. Also the stomach acid of a vulture is so highly acidic it kills rabies virus and most bacteria, which is why they can eat dead disgusting rotting things. Edit, to clarify, I mean vultures stomachs are crazy super powerful and destroy just about anything that gets in contact with the stomach acid, where we would get very sick from eating a rotting raccoon. Also so happy to see all the interest in opossums and vultures. They are very interesting creatures that are gravely misunderstood and get a pretty bad rep. Opossums are master tick destroyers that generally want nothing to do with humans or are pretty chill about us. Vultures are a critical cleanup crew that prevent the spread of disease in the environment that rotting carcasses could spread, such as rabies. Further down there is a great post about how rabies can survive in a corpse for years and an animal that eats brain matter could become infected. Not vultures though. I encourage anyone to read more about how amazing both these creatures are and how important they are to our, and all animals, continued survival. Similarly, you're unlikely to see squirrels or other small rodents with rabies since anything that can pass it on to them likely killed them. When a person receives a kidney transplant they don't take out the old kidneys, they just shove them to the side and leave them in there. Wait what I need more information, do the old kidneys still work, do they shrivel up and die, what becomes of them? I have a kidney transplant and can confirm this. Basically the old ones shrink down to the size of a walnut, originally the size of a fist, because they're not doing any of the work anymore. The blood continues to flow through them, and that's it. A bit like your appendix. They don't die though, the tissue is still alive. If they become necrotic, dying, then they need to be removed. Emma Morano of Italy was the last, documented and verified, person to die that was born in the 1800s. 29th of November 1899 to 15th of April 2017. Bet she had a nightmare filling in date of birth fields on the internet. She probably just did what every 12-year-old boy does when asked for her age. Make it 69? Komodo dragons are the largest animals in the world capable of reproducing asexually edit. Y'all I just found this on Google when I was curious one day don't ask me how it works in failing biology. Never thought this knowledge would come in handy but, to explain further, it's called parthenogenesis. It's not like they suddenly split in two like bacteria do, it's a method of reproduction for if the female isn't able to reproduce sexually. They'll lay and hatch an unfertilized egg, literally creating a clone of themselves that has an exact copy of their DNA. Do they have the issue with telomeres being shortened with exact clones? Or is that a mammalian thing? Telomere shortening is found in differentiated somatic cells, i.e. liver, skin, intestines, not germ cells or stem cells. The latter two possess an enzyme known as telomerase. Also the science behind telomere length and lifespan is kinda not good. If you find a four-leaf clover then there is a good chance you'll find more not too far away. Appropriate metaphor for luck lol. There was a short period of time when Picasso and Snoop Dogg were both alive together. Cows can see almost 360 degrees. Edit, hi, I just woke up. Thanks for the awards. But have zero depth perception which is why they can't go downstairs. They're also terrible at tennis. They have zero recorded losses, 
so terrible seems to be quite a stretch. If the internet has taught me something, I bet that there is not only videos of people playing tennis against cows, but a whole subreddit dedicated to it. Twister was the first movie released on DVD. The Matrix was the first movie to have the DVD format outsell the VHS format. Butterflies and moths can drink blood and tears in order to get nutrients. It's called mud puddling. I think more horror movies should use this. Corgi is a translation of the Welsh for dwarf dog. Corgi. In the Mabinogion, the Welsh book of myths and legends, corgis were the battle steeds of fairies. Well that's just adorable. German chocolate cake was invented by an English-American baker named Samuel German and has nothing to do with the country of Germany. Similarly, the Caesar salad is attributed to Chef Caesar Cardini and has nothing to do with Julius Caesar. Dogs that are slightly underweight live an average of two years longer than dogs that are slightly overweight. Scientists also found that mice who were fed all their calories during a single feeding live longer than those who were fed the same amount of calories but broken up throughout the day. But were they happy mice? Hangry mice. Humans' ability smell petrichor, smell of wet earth from rain, is greater than a shark's ability to smell blood in water. Wiki says, the human nose is extremely sensitive to geosmin and is able to detect it at concentrations as low as 400 parts per trillion. Some scientists believe that humans appreciate the rain scent because ancestors may have relied on rainy weather for survival. There was a phantom poop on an Apollo mission. A poop, floating around, that none of the astronauts said was theirs. I wouldn't own up to it either. LOL. The first imaging satellites used to drop film from space which was either caught by aircraft or recovered in the ocean. Check out the Corona Space Program. Ocean recovery was done, but they only had a window of like an hour or so to get the film. The spies on both sides really did not want the other guys getting a film drop so the film capsule had a plug that would melt into the sea water fast and trash the film in case it got lost. Your eyeballs have a separate enclosed immune system than the rest of your body. If somehow the two become aware of each other, your body will think your eyes are invaders and literally attack and dissolve them. Edit, Uwukmo with the Wikipedia assist. N.wikipedia.org I now realize that the Wikipedia page in question is quite sparse so here's a better site, iwiki.aao.org also, for those that are panicking, it only happens with eye puncture injuries and even then, in very rare cases. Even rarer in eye surgeries. Edit number 2, Warp 19 with a great analogy. When your immune system is growing up it goes to school and is taught about all the different parts of the body. It then is sent out to patrol for things it doesn't recognize and kill them. Interestingly the eyes don't participate in school, they are libertarians or something, and they close the door to any knocking immune cells. If you bust down the door by puncturing the eye your immune cells rush in and say yo WTF is this. And then kill all the libertarians weirdos edit number 3, you cats 30 shares their experience. I have this eye disease. My left eye was removed 5 years ago because of it. My eye didn't dissolve lol. It did stop functioning and started to shrivel up. Lost the eye color. It was pretty gnarly to look at. Thanks for the nightmare fuel. God damn it, now I gotta worry about that. When the Rubik's Cube was first released a mathematician said it would take the average person 30 years, working 8 hours a day. To solve a cube saying it was impossible for someone without a master's in mathematics to solve it in under a month. The sun is not yellow. When viewed outside Earth's atmosphere it is white. It only looks yellow due to our atmosphere pulling the blue light out, leaving it looking yellow. It's an illusion. Kangaroos will eat cat poop even though it is poisonous to them learned this when a local zoo had a stray cat problem. The General Electric Company for many decades owned NBC. The three chimes of the NBC jingle are the notes GEC. During the radio era if that chime ever had a fourth note, that was a signal for NBC employees to go into work because a major news story, i.e. D-Day, was about to break. Strangely, the chime jingle existed before GE bought NBC. Australia is wider than the moon. Nah that can't be true. No way. Russia is bigger than Pluto. What's going on here? I feel like y'all are taking shots at the celestial bodies and any second Jupiter is gonna come in here and sit on us. Pluto's surface area is 16.7 meters square kilometer. 
Russian surface area is 17 meters square kilometer.